something that we have found to be really important for our children is fostering their imagination. Now, we have four children and every one of them is very unique in what they like, what they dislike, and their strengths, and then their weaknesses. But we think that if fostering imagination and emphasizing playtime and creativity are really important. There are a lot of ways that we do that. Over the years, we have made playing outside a really important part of our days, of our weeks. In fact, a couple of years ago, a nearby school was getting ready to get rid of its school playground. So I approached the administration and was told that I would actually save them a lot of money if I wanted to come and take this playground, disassemble it. So I spent a summer doing that, and with the help of my father-in-law, was able to transport the entire playground to our house. And we have a really awesome blessing of a playground uh, in our yard, and the children have a wonderful time using their imaginations, playing, and having a great time. Another way that we spend time together and foster imagination uh, is through doing things together like going on a bike ride or a walk in the evenings. Uh, the kids really enjoy uh, spending time with each other, with us, outside, uh, enjoying nature, getting out energy, exercise, all of that. Another way that we try to foster the imagination of our children is through reading and through story. I truly believe that we were created with a longing for story, for a story that conveys truth, for a story that embodies morals and values and character development. And we've enjoyed reading stories, both my wife to the children and myself to the children, and they enjoy reading stories themselves. Sometimes I wonder how much of the stories that they remember. Uh, this past summer we read uh, The Hobbit, not for the first time, but I wondered what my five-year-old's memory of it was and what his favorite part of it was, so I asked him. When um, Smaug took the cup, the cup. Oh, who did he take the cup from? Bilbo. Okay, cool. And the jewels. And the jewels. What was another part that you remember, somebody in there that you remember from The Hobbit? Um, and dying. Oh, what did you think about that? Sad. We've also really enjoyed other series like C.S. Lewis' Chronicles of Narnia. But a book series that we're reading right now that is probably the best series that I've read to my children and one of the best series I've ever read myself is called The Wing Feather Saga. And we're currently in the fourth book of a series of four. And it was written by musician and songwriter Andrew Peterson. If you're not familiar with him, I highly recommend his music. But this fantasy series, this uh, series of four books, follows three children as their lives are turned upside down. And my children are absolutely obsessed with it. A big thanks to our friends Sarah and Bailey who lent us the books to start. We've since purchased our own and are nearing the end of this wonderful journey. There's something exciting about going on a journey that is a story together. It gives you something to talk about. It also opens doors to talk about difficulties, to talk about character development, to talk about uh, community and friendship and sacrifice and many of the things that have permeated stories for all of human history. I asked the kids what their favorite parts of the story were or what they think might happen at the end. 
what they remember from it. And it was fun to hear uh, what my older two thought about this story, the Wingfeather Saga, as we're in the middle of reading it right now. If somebody said, what is the Wingfeather Saga about? What do you think you'd tell them? About a family running away from a bad army. Have we got to the end yet? No, we're still there. What do you hope happens at the end? They find a good home, they stay in it, and none of and Neil will um um Calma doesn't get killed. So I wanted to give you a bit of a window into how we foster imagination in our home. I hope that it, it was something interesting to you. And if you don't participate in any of these activities, I would highly recommend that you enjoy time outside as a family, uh, that you read and make story an important part of your lives. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. It will enrich your experiences. Well, thank you for checking out our vlog this week. And I hope that you're able to check us out and tune in for more. Otherwise, God bless. Thank you.